If only I could play on the big screen. Wait! I can. Hello my friends and welcome again. So today I'm going to show you the Katsukiti Capture Kit for the 3DS. When I went to Tokyo, Japan, a friend told me Katsukiti was there and honestly I didn't know about that. But we took an appointment to get our new 3DSs modded. So take a look. So here we go, it's that shop in this little street. So we just got to Katsukiti Workshop where he's going to mod our new 3DS. Let's see how it turns out. So we brought our 3DSs to Katsukiti. Katsu, 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 Katsukiti. To Katsukiti's workshop and return it in three hours to get our 3DS's back with the mod doll. Guys, thumbs up if you are liking the video and subscribe for more. Okay, let me show you how it works. So the mod consists on a USB output you'll use to connect your 3DS to the computer. And then, if you need HDMI output, you'll have to use your computer to get the signal to the TV. So Katsukiti gave us the instructions where you can find all the download links, either for PC or Mac. Then you can see that if you want some sound on the computer, you'll have to connect the 3DS jack your computer using preferably a sound capture card. So before connecting the 3DS we're going to launch the software, it's called new 3DS view and then we connect the cable to the USB output and ta-da! Okay, so the software has several options, of course you can go full screen which is always nice and then you can organize all the screens as you want. For instance, you can get the main one bigger, then you have the side view also. You can even have only the upper screen or only the down screen. And then you have an option to rotate the screen in case you have a vertical screen at home and you can add some space between the screens. And you even have an option to see the SPS count. Okay, so as I was telling you, the USB output only gets the image out. If you need sound, you're going to use the jack port on your 3DS. Okay, so let's go for a little gameplay so you see how it renders. Okay, let me get the link. Okay, oh, give me my ice cream. Uh oh, okay, come here. Okay, mm, we're going to stop. Uh, let me show you how it renders when I'm capturing the image. Point. Of course, the image is pixelated because the 3DS has a low resolution. So that's normal, don't worry guys. Okay, 
Okay. And of course, I wanted to know how it is inside. So, let's open it. So, we are going to start by getting out this cover plate. So here we can see the first modification that enclosure Katsukiti had to make to make some space, I guess. So now let's see how it looks on the inside. So we're going to need to get all these screws out. So if you guys are doing this, you may need some different bits like three wings. One thing we can see here is that the SD card cannot be extracted without taking apart this plastic part. So this is not a problem since I don't get the SD card out often. Let's get this part out carefully, disconnecting the bit. Okay, so here we can clearly see the added part. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so let's get these rubber bits out and the screws. Guys, this mod is not cheap. It costed me around 200 bucks with the capture card included but you are going to understand why. The first connection you see to the motherboard looks kind of difficult. Honestly, I don't think I have the skills to solder that myself. So here's the capture card with lots of connections to the motherboard and then a connection to the USB port. And of course, the enclosure Katsukiti had to make to make room. So guys, it's been some weeks since the mod and so far everything is good. So expect me to do some 3D SES gameplays because emulating these games is not top. So as always guys, thanks for watching, thumbs up if you liked the video, and subscribe for more. And may the power always be with you. See you next week. Oh, big screen.